hello students welcome to the session so in previous session uh, we have discussed the azeotropes and the first of the colligative property that is relative lowering of vapor pressure now in this session we will discuss the elevation of boiling point which is the second colligative property in your textbook okay so just uh, let start uh, the discussion or you can say let's start the session the name of the colligative property is the elevation of boiling point so as the name indicates elevation means elevate elevate means increase the, the increase uh, of the increasing of the boiling point okay so just before going to the uh, text matter of the book uh, i am just going to show you a little activity a small activity just go through it and after that you may conclude the you may infer the information from that activity then we will discuss okay just look at the activity so this is the boiling water uh, so you must be aware about the boiling boiling happens when the vapor pressure of this liquid means the water the vapor pressure of the water become equal to the atmospheric pressure okay so this is the pure solvent i have taken means the pure water okay you may say you can see it it is boiling and i have taken the salt and this salt you can say the salt is a kind of solute okay so let's see what happened when i am just mixing this salt into the boiling water okay so this is salt and this is boiling water have you seen the boiling stop have you seen the boiling stops okay so why this happen because the salt is a kind of non volatile solute and as this non volatile solute mixes with the solvent then what happens it occupies some spaces over the surface and the vapor pressure decreases so this is termed as the elevation of boiling point when it happens when any non volatile solute mixes to the pure solvent so students i think uh, you may just in for the information or you may conclude the information from that activity uh, i i hope so so yes you guess right uh, as i mix the salt or you can say the solute to the water to the boiling water the bo the boiling point elevated okay so why the boiling point elevated because the number of vapors immediately decreases means now the the water is not remain the pure sol solvent it become the solution and as it become the solution the vapor pressure of the solution decreases because we have discussed earlier in uh, two of the session uh, why the vapor pressure of the solution is lesser than the vapor pressure of the pure solvent okay so the as the vapor pressure decreases then again you have to increase the temperature to raise the vapor pressure of that solution become equal to the atmospheric pressure okay so with the help of that activity you may very much understood you can very much understood understood the concept behind as you add any non volatile solute to the solvent the boiling point of that solution become elevated or it it become increases okay so some discussion is written uh, also here uh, for example the vapor pressure of the liquid increases with increase in the temperature and it boils at the temperature at which its vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure okay for example 373.15 kelvin is the boiling point of the pure water and uh, the vapor pressure of that water become 1.013 bar at this temperature that's why uh, and this is the atmospheric pressure also so when the vapor pressure become equal to atmospheric pressure the water boils and it is generally happening at the 100 degree celsius okay clear so Uh, and we have learned earlier that as you add the non volatile solute to the uh, to the solvent to make the solution then the num then the number of vapors decreases and as the number of vapor decreases the boiling point elevated okay for example the vapor pressure of an aqueous solution of sucrose means salt uh, sorry sugar plus water is less than 1.013 bar at 100 degree or 373.15 kelvin okay it means this is the boiling point of water and at this temperature the vapor pressure of the pure water was 1.013 which is exactly equal to that atmospheric atmospheric pressure and the water is start boil boiling okay but in the case of sucrose solution at this temperature the vapor pressure is less than 1.013 it means to just reach this uh, 
pressure, the value of this pressure, you have to increase the temperature of the sugar solution or sucrose solution. So in order to make the solution boil, its vapor pressure must be increased to 1.013 bar by raising the temperature above the boiling point, boiling temperature of the pure solvent, that is water. Thus the boiling point of the solution is always higher than that of the boiling point of the pure solvent in which the solution is prepared as shown in the figure 2.7 so this is the diagram this is the graph which is very clearly telling all the all the uh, just processes happening there this is the temp this is the pressure this is the pressure which is the external pressure or you can say the atmospheric pressure here the vapor pressure this is the y axis vapor pressure is here this is x axis here temperature is uh, uh, mentioned here and this is the graph of the solvent okay this is the graph of the solvent as you increase the temperature the vapor pressure increases and as the vapor pressure of solvent touches this range means just it reaches this range one atmosphere or 1.013 bar pressure it is start boiling at this point solvent is start boiling so when you are just uh, just extrapolating this point to the x axis this is the temperature at which the pure component water is boiling and it is written by tb naught or tb0 whatever you want to write or you want to uh, just speak tb0 okay but as you add salt or sugar to the pure solvent then what happens immediate immediately the vapor the number of vapors decreases and the vapor pressure of that sol that solution is lesser than the vapor pressure of the solvent for example at this at this temperature at this time for example at this temperature the vapor pressure of solvent is like it is having something around here the value of the pressure and in the case of solution what is the value of the pressure it this is the point where the pressure of the solution lies and this is the point where the pressure of the solvent lies so basically uh, the concept is the pressure of the solution reduces in the case uh, as you are mixing this any kind of non volatile solute to the solvent to form the solution so basically the vapor pressure of solution is lesser than the vapor pressure of solvent okay at the same temperature clear it means this graph is the graph of solution okay and why this graph is different from the solvent because in the case of solution the number of vapors decreases okay so the vapor pressure of the solution is lesser than the vapor pressure of solvent at particular temperature at any temperature you can say for example at tb naught what happens at tb naught the solvent start boiling but at tb naught the pressure of the solution is lesser than the pressure of the atmospheric pressure that is one atmosphere or 1.013 bar that is why the solution is not boiling at the same temperature okay clear then when this solution will uh, start boiling when uh, uh, when you are just extrapolating this graph towards uh, you, you can say when the temperature is rising uh, again you are just increasing the temperature and as the temperature as you increase the temperature the graph move upward and as it touches the line of one atmosphere it is start boiling okay the solution is start boiling here here okay so if uh, solution starts boiling here then what is the temperature this temperature is different from the tb naught the temperature of uh, the solution is written is written as tb tb is the temperature or you can say the boiling point of the solution and tb naught is the boiling point of the pure solvent so this is the amount of temperature you increased or this is the difference of the temperature between the uh, boiling point of solution and boiling point of the pure solvent and which is written as delta tb delta means difference of the temperature and tb is the temperature boiling point of the that solution okay so just start de deriving the formula formula of the uh, elevation of boiling points so let us consider elevation of boiling point elevation of boiling point so first of all tb tb naught this is the boiling point of pure solvent and tb is the boiling point of solution okay so what is delta tb it is the elevation of boiling point and delta tb is equal to tb minus tb naught clear 
okay so uh, the tb delta tb on which factor this delta tb is depending because as you mix the salt or you as you mix this uh, the water or oh, sorry uh, sugar to the boiling water what is happening the the boiling point of that solution increases and as you are adding more uh, solute the boiling point rises up rises up rises up uh, one in case of one teaspoon the, if the boiling point is rise is uh, risen by only 0.5 per 0.5 degree celsius so if you add one more teaspoon it may the boiling point of that particular solution rise by uh, by 0.5 degree celsius more okay it means the delta tb is directly proportional to the amount of that solute added so in mathematical term the delta tb is directly proportional to the molality molality of the solution okay because the solute you which you are adding the the amount of the solute is uh, considering in the case of weight only because the amount of the solute which is you are adding is in the case of solid state okay so delta tb is directly proportional to molality okay and as you remove this proportionality sign here one constant term is introduced and it is written as kb where kb is the ebullioscopic constant or it is molar elevation constant okay so delta tb is equal to kb and what is the formula of molality molality molarity is equal to number of moles of solute upon weight of solvent in kg and if it is written in gram multiplied by 1000 okay so delta tb is equal to kb and number of moles of solute means n2 upon w1 and if it is in gram then multiplied by 1000 so delta tb is equal to kb and n2 is equal to w2 upon m2 into w1 into 1000 so this is the equation where delta tb is the elevation of boiling point kb is the molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant w2 is the given mass of the sol uh, solute m2 is the molar mass of solute and w1 is the given mass of solvent so with the help of this formula you can calculate any of the variable which uh, the question is asking okay so in this case also you are uh, you are seeing that m2 is written at the at the denominator side okay in the case of previous uh, colligative property which was the relative lowering of vapor pressure again m2 is written at the denominator side it means in both the cases the colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass of the solute okay so this is again the colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass of the solute okay and this equation is just similar to the equation which is written in your book delta tb is equal to this kb into 1000 into w2 upon m2 into w1 and m2 is equal to you can just shift all these uh, values from left hand to the right hand side and right hand to the left hand side okay so this is all about the derivation this is the basic equation which you have to learn it and the question is uh, questions basically from these topics are of kind of numericals so let us consider one numerical example 2.7 uh, 18 gram of glucose is dissolved in one kilogram of water okay in the in a saucepan so it is w2 because it is solute and it is w1 because it is solvent okay at what temperature will water boil at this bar kb for water is this kb is given here and at what temperature will water boil at this bar this is the pressure okay okay so next let us start what is the num number of moles of glucose given mass upon molar mass it is the molar mass of the glucose with the help of formula you can calculate the molar mass and it is 0.1 mole uh, number of kilogram of solvent it is one kilogram or if you want to convert it into gram then it is 1000 gram then just apply the formula delta tb is equal to kb into m kb is given here and what is molality molality is the number of moles of solute it, that is 0 0.1 upon mass is 1 1 kilogram so overall it is, it is 1 0 0.1 number of moles 0 0.1 and weight of solvent is 1 kilogram so 0 0.1 upon 1 is 0 0.1 that is why delta tb is equal to kb into m means 0 0.5 to 
into 0 0.1 it is equal to this one 0 0.052 Kelvin so this is the elevation of boiling point okay and water uh, start water the boiling point of water is 373.15 Kelvin okay so this is the boiling point of water and uh, this is the elevation of the boiling point it means delta TB is equal to TB minus TB naught so this is 0 0.052 is equal to TB you have to calculate minus 373.15 okay so after sending this value to the uh, left hand side 373.15 plus 0 0.052 is equal to this one this one is the boiling point of the solution similarly one another example is here it is also just similar all the values you have to keep you have to put in the formula and molar mass of the solute can be calculated okay so this is the uh, end of the today's uh, session the elevation of boiling point i hope you uh, all of you must understand all these topics if you like the video just please like and subscribe also